Well, good morning, everybody. This is Time Draws Nine. I wanted to give an update on the portable solar power system, uh, specifically the battery box. Uh, almost a year ago, I made a video about my battery box and the portable solar power system. Um, at that time, I had a 30 amp PWM charge controller. But shortly after that, uh, while I was working up the power calculations for my book, I discovered how important the MPPT technology is and just how much uh, potential power I was losing with my traditional PWM charge controller. So shortly after that series of videos, I purchased and installed this uh, 40 amp MPPT charge controller that you see right in the middle of the screen here and installed that on the control panel of my battery box. Now I'd like to go through the considerations and calculations and show how much more power can reach your battery bank with MPPT technology and how I came up with this uh, conclusion. I still have the old 30 amp uh, PWM charge controller stored away in my Faraday can and uh, we'll of course pull it out if we ever have any sort of uh, situation where the where the this charge controller goes bad or we have an EMP or something happens to where I need a, a charge controller, an emergency charge controller. Alright, this is chapter 2, the portable solar power system, pages 33 and 34, with a discussion of charge controllers and the importance of MPPT technology. MPPT technology, of course, is the acronym for Maximum PowerPoint Tracking. Here you can see the 40 amp MPPT charge controller on the left and the external LCD display on the right. This charge controller has three connection pairs. From right to left you'll see the solar panel pair, the battery bank pair, and the 12 volt DC load pair. The external LCD display unit monitors the PV voltage, and that's the panel array voltage, the battery bank voltage, the current charge, and the current mode. MPPT, Maximum Power Point Tracking, is a technology that attempts to get the maximum available power from the solar panels making them operate at the most efficient voltage. The MPPT charge controller is a true DC to DC voltage converter. With PWM charge controllers, the input voltage from the solar array will be pulled down to the voltage of the battery bank in this case, a 12 volt battery bank. The portable solar power system has 120 watt panels that can only achieve 120 watt output at approximately 17.1 volts. The battery bank is at 12 volts, so the PWM charge controller would, would limit the input voltage to 12 volts. This will artificially limit the 120 watt panel input power to approximately 71 watts. An MPPT charge controller will resolve this voltage differential internally, outputting the 12 volts expected by the batteries and raising the current, the amps, to nearly 40 amps where the panels only output a combined 28.4 amps maximum. This will achieve the 120 watts expected from each panel. MPPT charge controllers are more expensive but well worth the cost if your survival budget will allow. Some suggest simply adding more panels to compensate for the PWM solar charge controller loss. I suggest installing an MPPT charge controller. Again, the portable solar power system has four 120 watt solar panels. I have a section describing the considerations for sizing your solar panel array and I get a little deeper in the weeds with the math associated with the calculations and this will better describe the importance of MPPT and the loss associated with standard PWM charge controller. Typically during the summer months there is a peak period of charging in the middle of the day with somewhat less in the early morning and late afternoon. For this example, using the portable solar power system, we will use six hours per day at 95% maximum charging, which is the peak period, and four hours a day at 70% charging, 
representing the mornings and the evenings. Again, Ohm's Law provides the calculations. 480 watts divided by 12 volts times 6 hours at 95% is 228 amp hours. 480 watts divided by 12 volts times 4 hours at 70% is 112 amp hours. So that is a total of 300 amp hours per day. There's a caveat to this math though. Using Ohm's Law, with 120 watt panels rated at 7.1 amps on a 12 volt system would only produce 71 watts with a PWM charge controller. As discussed earlier, the solar panels are actually capable of producing over 17 volts. The loss discussed here is a worst case scenario when the panels are producing at 100% with perfect peak sun at a perfect tilt angle and with no obstructions at all. On days where the conditions are not optimal, loss with a PWM charge controller will be less because it might still pump 71 watts into the 12 volt system where the MPPT controller could be producing only slightly better than that. All things considered, an MPPT charge controller is well worth the extra cost considering the substantial extra power stored in your battery bank on more optimal days. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.